Hey everyone, well, very much looking forward to this video. My first image session of 2024 and first for just over a year. Cannot wait. I'm going to take full advantage of these clear skies and well, I think it's going to be a cold one. Hopefully a good image session. Big question is, galaxy or nebula? I haven't actually decided quite yet. Well, here she is, good to go, ready to be mounted onto my EQ6R Pro. So nothing much has, in fact, nothing's changed since I last did an image session last year. I'm still using my Red Cat 51 and hitching a ride on the back, my 533MC Pro from ZWO. I just want to quickly talk about that, actually. I had a few comments, actually, about the rig. Uh, is it undersampled? Uh, how am I getting away with it, etc. Yes, it is undersampled. It's quite significantly, actually, apparently. And, yeah, I'm getting away with it. I've been going to do a video on this, actually. I think it'd be uh, good to do that, sort of talk about it further. I think it'd be quite interesting and helpful as well. So, yeah, I suppose watch this space. Other things, I bought this triple finder scope bracket, actually, uh, from Amazon. And I thought I'd give it a go, see what happens. But the idea was I want to get a a DSLR camera in the middle of here, so if I want to do some interesting footage or you know some wide angle shots, I could and do a deep sky shot at the same time. But either side of this mountain bracket, I've got my guide scope and guide camera and the SIR Plus. So there she is. So I think what we're going to do now, we're going to get this smashed onto the rig uh, before it gets too dark. quite dark enough but maybe another hour and we'll be get the show on the road like mentioned in me the last video me update video so i've got any power temporary power but i have got a socket on the outer wall so i don't have to go trailing it into the house like i was doing uh last time i did an image session so that's a bonus got loads of velcro on me rig i love velcro keep all these cables at bay nothing should Get snagged. All looks good to me. It's balanced. So yeah, we're um, ready. So I think while I've got a bit of time to kill, I'm gonna go and pick a target. Well, to help me choose a target, I've got a very special guest. Are you jumping in? Come yeah. on. My oldest daughter, Jessica here. Do you wanna say hello? Hello. Hi, she just wants to start a strong photography, but for now, she's gonna Help me choose a target. So let's have a look here. What what are we on here? We're on Stellarian. Oh. That's not bad. Not bad. Do you recognise that? I took an image of that before. What do you think? Mm, it's it's nice. It's nice. That's the Rosette Nebula. Oh, do we go for a galaxy? Oh that. Can you remember what that's called? The An Andromeda. Andromeda. Well done. All right. Oh, I can remember that. Which one's that? What's I can't that? remember the name. Well, what's it look like? It looks like a hard heart. It so it's the... Heart Nebula. Heart <laughs> Nebula, yes. Good to go? Yeah. All right, we've gone firm. We are going for a Nebula. It was close. We were going to go for a Galaxy. Uh, we were going to go for the... Can you remember what it was, Jan? Andromeda. Andromeda Galaxy. We were going to go for that, but decided to go for a nebula. In what constellation? Can you remember? Auriga. Auriga, yes. A few little targets there. So, yeah. I'm not going to reveal it quite yet. I'm going to keep the cards close to my chest. Big reveal at the end. I've just had a thought. Do you want to join me? Yes, please. Yeah, join me for a half an hour or something. 
We'll yeah. have to wrap up though. Yeah, definitely wrapping up. It's a date. Well, we're good to go for the sequence. A few little teething problems, but to be fair, it, it was to be expected. You know, I haven't had the rig up and running for such a while. <laughs> One of the connectors wasn't in for the whole, well, the, for the uh, autofocuser, um, so that wasn't playing. And also the Stazo out focus had to do an, um, a manual focus. It wouldn't pull a line otherwise. A few minor issues, nothing to worry about. And um, we're ready to go. What do you think? Think everyone's gonna like this? Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be all right. So I'll go for three minute exposures, and uh, yeah, uh, have you have you learned much? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna want to get run out the other. She's only seven year old, so you know, I think you'll get there eventually, don't you? Yeah. I can see I can see you doing it in a few years by yourself. Yeah. Definitely. Right, we're gonna keep this little one uh, in the house because it is pretty much a bedtime, and I'm gonna set this away. So once I've done that, I'll uh, finish up uh, the video indoors. Come on then, let's get you in. My hands are a little numb. Oh, it's freezing out there. The temperature's really, really dropped. Um, we've actually got a warning for snow out for tomorrow. And then <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't turn up early. Can you imagine an observatory full of snow? Oh, nightmare. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I've put uh, my Ellen Hans from Optolong in there, my filter. Yeah, there is a 50% moon out, and, but yeah, I made the decision just whack that in. So, I'm going to wrap things up. Hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Uh, and again, you know, subscribers, thank you very much for staying subscribed. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Chuck a like on the video, whatever you want to do. Leave a comment. All awesome. I'll uh, read and respond as I always do. So, hope you enjoy the image. And it's probably going to take me... Hmm, about a week to process because I'm a little rusty. I uh, haven't done any processing for a long time. Uh, so <laughs> see how that goes. But yeah, until next time, everyone. Clear skies, take care, and of course, bye for now.